Sensoron wasn't a stereo process. It wasn't about putting sound uh, in locations around the room. It was, it was about filling the room with one big low frequency vibration that sort of came from everywhere. I think that was the first time any major studio had invested in the idea of a low frequency enhancement to, to the motion picture soundtrack. Now the proposition would be that they could go to the theater and feel the earthquake. They developed special cabinets and special subwoofer speakers, drivers as they're called, to go in those cabinets. So this would be a, a physical installation into the theater itself. They would have special amplifiers installed which would handle the wattage needed to provide power to, to a speaker. But the key to it was to have the, the actual audio signal, the rumble itself, to be a synthesized a signal. Right, you had a little box, electronic box, which put out a, it was called white noise or pink noise, kind of a hash. Uh, if you listen to it, it'd be kind of a, a hiss kind of sound and it would run through a filter that would take away all the high frequencies and get greatly amplified, and the result was a rumble. The, the actual sound for the earthquake or the sense around audio was not on the movie print itself. It was generated in the theater by a special synthesizer, um, and it was triggered by a signal that was on the film, an extra signal that the audience couldn't hear but the equipment in the theater would detect it and it would tell this subwoofer, this uh, sensor on box, to turn on at full blast. Yeah.